Well, it's the 4th of July again, the day we celebrate our independence from the oppressive king and we became a free nation, a people governing ourselves under the Creator God. What better way to celebrate than with one of the most American traditions of all, the all-American barbecue, stuffing our faces with hot dogs and hamburgers, grilling over an open flame, the smell of meat sizzling and blowing in the wind. Now you may be wondering what this contraption here is, and why there are hamburger patties and buns on it. Well, let me show you, because I am absolutely starving for a hamburger and I need to get this thing assembled. So I call this my neat organizing patty bun and condiment stacker. It's perfect. You don't even have to use your hands to touch your food. You just bring each one down until you've got it fully assembled. Well, I'll show you how it works. So, you've got your bottom plate, your bottom bun is what you start with. And then here, next up, we have the patty. It's going to go down next. Make sure everything's lined up. Boom! Well, it's off a little bit. We're good. Uh, let's bring down the lettuce. You can bring them down one at a time. Get them lined up here, and boom! Bring down your lettuce. Now, for the top bun, we gotta bring him down all the way down. And boom! Perfect. Well, it's it takes some practice, but there we have a perfectly assembled hamburger. And if you do it just right, with plenty of practice, I promise you, you won't even have to touch any of the food, except, of course, to put them on the plate. <laughs> but, it's a work in progress. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Perfect hamburger. I am starving. Now, speaking of hamburgers, all this talk reminds me of an NES game that is very patriotic for today. Well, in the fact that it has to do with one of the most famously cooked foods on this day, the hamburger. Let's give it up for... Burger Time on the NES! Well, now it's Burger Time. This game was uh, made by Dada East and it came out in 1982 for the arcade machine originally. Let's give it a go here. So, alright. Uh -oh. oh! Well, the controls aren't very responsive. That's why I died just then. I was trying to go up with the ladder and wouldn't go up. So it looks like you climb ladders and you walk. Oh, died again already. Looks like we gotta walk over the ingredients of a hamburger and get them all down to the bottom there onto a plate. <laughs> uh, now, from my understand, the main player here is a chef. Look at him in his little, his little. Uh, oh crap! Uh, oh, gotcha. He's a chef. Oh wow, these controls are really bad. Not very responsive at all. Keeps wanting to go down. But anyway, you're a chef, and his name is. Uh, let's see, I what his name was. His name was Peter Pepper. That's what his name was. Is. Uh, and yeah, you do have an attack. And he like 
throws out some sort of little dust, which I think is supposed to be like pepper or something. Yeah, that's right. Pepper, I like pepper on my hot dog. Take that. I think those are hot dogs or sausages or something They're chasing me around. Those, those are the enemies in the game. Um, and then there's a little Eggman. He's an Eggman. Running around over there, the white guy with the orange. So I think the goal is to get all these hamburger pieces down on the plate by walking on top of them. That's exactly what you want to happen. You want somebody, you want the chef to be walking on your, on your food. Does that sound very good? Oh! Well, it's the longest I've lasted so far. And uh, each time you restart. Oh wow! Ah, uh, I guess I ran out of uh, pepper dust. Game over. Well, I gotta start all over again. Let's give it another try here. I'm really stinking at this. Mainly because these controls did not port over very well. Does it seem like to the NES? Like I said, the, the arcade version of this was obviously, it was the colors, it had more brighter, vibrant colors, and the graphics were a lot more appealing to look at, uh, and that, back in those days, the arcade games were a lot better, the arcade machines, any games on the arcades were a lot better than any of the console ports. This one, it was kind of a fun game, except I think the goal here is to get all of these little guys. <laughs> there we go. Just like that, you get them, you get them to follow you, and then you climb a ladder, and you get, you try to get one of the ingredients, to fall down on top of all of them and squish all of them at the same time. Oh no, oh no! Oh, okay, okay. There we go. All at the same time while trying to get these ingredients. Ugh. Died again. While trying to get these ingredients to fall down onto the plate. Wow, if I was a customer waiting, I'd be really aggravated right now. As I've already been waiting for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. What was it nowadays? Nowadays, people want their food instantly. I've been waiting too long already. Plus, I get my food, and then it tastes like boot. Ugh. That's... that's nasty. I'm not gonna pay for it now. I'm not paying for it. In fact, I'm walking out. I'm getting out of this restaurant. The chef... <laughs> the, the whole kitchen's gone crazy. The chef's having trouble just staying alive. Take that. Take my pepper dust. A little bit of pepper and salt on the eggs. Mmm. Alright, here we go. There we go. That's how it's done. Uh oh. Oh no. What did I say? I'm really stinking at this. I really am. I can't even make it past the first level. Alright. Alright. Let's come down here. Let's get the easy ones. Let's get them to follow me. I'm gonna come up here, and then... Boom! Yeah, the thing is, you kill them. You have like, ten of them chasing after you. And then... As soon as you kill some, uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 oh, saved by the pepper dust. You kill them, and then some of them, and then some more, just randomly just come off the side of the screen. It might be right where you're standing, so you just <laughs> absolutely have no chance of surviving. Oh no, they ganged up on me, killed by the sausages, the eggs. I don't like eggs. 
Okay. This one looks a little bit easier this time. Let's do it. Oh, well, maybe not. Ah, ha, ha, that guy could have got me, but he went down the stairs. Oh. Alright, these controls are not very well and frustrating. That's one of the reasons why I keep dying. I keep trying to go up or down a ladder or try to go down, and he just keeps. He just looks down and he doesn't go anywhere. It's annoying. Very annoying. 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 No! Well, it's game over. Well, there you have it. That's burger time for the NES. Made by Data East in 1982. Um, I've never played this game before. Obviously, I never played on the arcade. I, <laughs> that was way before my time. I wasn't even born in 1982. So, there you have it. Burger time! What better way to celebrate the 4th of July than with some burgers and time. Time and burgers. Plenty of time to eat my burgers. My boot flavored burgers. Well, Burger Time, like so many arcade games of the 80s, was a simple platformer game where the main goal is to simply avoid all the enemies and stay alive until the next level. Uh, now, call me old school, but I really like these simple platformer games where the main goal is to simply get the highest score. Uh, it's a really fun game, and I could see myself playing it for hours just to see what high score I could get. Uh, obviously there's no violence or subjectable themes here at all. Just Peter Pepper trying to avoid the crazy wieners and eggs that have come alive and want him dead. Uh, I don't know what Peter Pepper did. He just wants to make boot flavored hamburgers for all the nice customers, that's all. Uh, now Burger Time has also seen some re-releases both on the PlayStation and Data East Arcade Classics for the Nintendo Wii. Um, Peter Pepper also made some big screen appearances in Wreck-It Ralph and the movie Pixels. Now, I hope everyone has had a blessed Independence Day, uh, have fun with friends and family, eat plenty of hamburgers, and make lots of time. We'll see you next time. God bless.